Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. <laughs> Here we are at Surrey School on a blustery day. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Oh, oh, man. Yeah, the weather in Surrey uh, tomorrow, oh, crazy cold. And it's going to be even worse on uh, Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just going to be really dangerous to be outside. But thank you for doing that. Hey, Tom. Now, I just want to go over everything here, except for the Southwest, which is under a wind chill advisory. The entire state and a good part of uh, Minnesota is under a uh, wind chill warning. All right. And now, in this area that's kind of outlined in black here, it's a winter weather advisory, not for falling snow, but for blowing snow and the reduced visibility. And I know that Dave showed you the road map a little bit ago, in case you missed it. Uh, it's just really bad shape around Bismarck with the uh, almost compacted ice or, or ice on the road, scattered ice in the north central, and as Dave was talking about earlier, all that uh, snow on the roads to the east, reducing the visibility, just a real, real mess. Now, the temperatures aren't well, they're cold, but they're not that bad yet. Notice how none of these are below zero. And I think even in the north, well, rugby finally hit zero, but everybody at uh, zero or above in the north. But this is going to change, and it's going to change tonight. The wind chills already below zero. You can see uh, as cold as 10 below in the south already. And farther in the north, we're already down to around 22 below in rugby. But, you know, honestly, it's been like that a lot for rugby uh, this, uh, this winter. Now, I want to show you something here. And I've kind of changed the, the graphic a little bit. And I, this little area that you see right here, that's where it could be as cold as 40 degrees below zero. But uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, it's not even going to be the coldest. And tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in Bismarck, it's going to be around 13, 14 below. And as a point of reference, uh, over in, in, in uh, Minnesota, International Fall, tomorrow, which isn't even going to be the coldest day, could be 28 degrees below zero. And so how about Wednesday morning? Now we're talking about life-threatening cold air. And as a, not just an example here, why not? Wednesday morning could be 33 degrees below zero. International Falls could be 37 degrees below zero. And again, there could be some spots hitting possibly 40 degrees below zero. And then once we get to uh, Thursday, the coldest air is going to begin to slide east. Notice this uh, purple area right in here, uh, Bismarck, on Thursday morning, right around 8 o'clock or so, could be around 14 below, which is an improvement, and it'll be even a little bit less cold in far western uh, North Dakota. But check out International Fall. The actual temperature in International Fall could be 43 degrees below zero. I mean, it could be that cold. So forecast temps tomorrow morning, and these are all below zero, and this is not wind chill. This is just the actual temperature. So here we are early in the morning. And by 12 noon, there's spots that might even be a little bit colder. And at 7 o'clock uh, tomorrow night, even colder than that. At 7 o'clock tomorrow night, some spots could be colder than 20 below already. So frostbite is a real issue here. Uh, if you have exposed skin, you can get frostbite in about five minutes of those kind of temperatures. Uh, this is what you're going to be dealing with. You might notice the skin starting to uh, feel a little prickly. If you see it turning grayish yellow or a kind of hard waxy looking, that's a bad sign. And if you get a blister, that's an exceptionally bad sign. And if you happen to get severe frostbite, uh, your skin will turn black and the tissue will die and it will not regenerate. Uh, you'll be dealing with that for the rest of your life, unfortunately. And how do you treat it? Well, if you have any wet clothes, you remove them. You gently warm the skin in warm water, not hot. Do not massage it. That could really cause problems. And don't rewarm the skin unless you can keep the skin warm. So potential wind chills. This is just tomorrow morning. This is just potential wind chills. We're looking at 30 to 40 degrees below zero or colder. And where we have this no color, that's colder than 40 below. And at times, and you kind of have to watch, but there's going to be times where it goes 50 to 60 degrees below zero. It is going to be that cold uh, for the next couple of days. So here's a look at the next uh, seven days. And it is going to be really bottoming out Wednesday and Wednesday night. Uh, there's a chance of snow on Thursday. Thursday. It looks like it'll warm up for Friday and Saturday. And, you know, I, I hate to say this, and I don't think it'll be as bad as this week, but next week we might get another shot of Arctic air. Oh. Uh, let's just focus on this one first, yeah, I guess. Let's focus on Friday. Mm -hmm. Next in our 5 at 5, it's fun.